I've been looking for an Android tablet and um, I really want one to replace my iPad so that I have an Android tablet, I have my Pixel phone and everything is either Android or Chrome OS based. And I uh, did a lot of research and what I came across was uh, this device which is the Yoga Smart Tab. And uh, the interesting thing about it is it includes the Google Assistant. So uh, I decided to bring up the web page here so you could see a, a little better view. And you'll see it's the Yoga Smart Tab with Google Assistant. It has this nice little stand right here. I'm anxious to, to see how that works. I was able to get the device for $249. That's about $100 off. And uh, again, what I want to do is move from an iPad to an Android tablet just to see if I can survive. And then likely we'll give my iPad Pro to my wife whose original iPad is, uh, is about dated and it's time to get a replacement. So I told her I'll take the uh, experiment and she can have the iPad Pro and I will try an Android tablet. So what we're going to do or what I'm going to do is uh, go back to our table camera here and we're just going to unbox the device and take a, a look at what's inside. Before we do that, I guess I should kind of go through here and share with you some of the features of this Yoga Smart Tab. You can see this here. The processor is, let me blow this up a little bit here for you right here. And the processor inside is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 439. It's an octa-core at 2 gigahertz. We'll tell you it's not the most recent Snapdragon, so a little disappointing there. However, it should be fine for everything but gaming. All the reviews I read online said everything but gaming should be okay. It does come with Android Pie, which is Android 9. I would love to have Android 10 or Android Q uh, on the device, but that is not available, sadly. Or maybe it will be with an upgrade. Lenovo doesn't have the best uh, reputation when it comes to upgrade, but who knows, you might be able to get that, or it might be able to uh, uh, force an Android Q install on there. It does come with a 10.1 inch full HD, so we're looking at 920 by 1200. That is not iPad Pro resolution, so it will be interesting to see how text looks on this device. It does come with four gigabytes of memory. That was a requirement. I am not gonna have a tablet with two gigs. Everything will be laggy, it's not gonna be good. It comes with 64 mega, uh, so, sorry, 64 megabytes. I'm back in the old days. 64 gigabytes of memory, which is uh, the same as on my Pixel phone. So that should be nice. I've never run out of memory. Uh, on my Pixel phone at 64 gigabytes. So it should be enough for music and video the way I use it. Comes with a one year warranty, LiPo battery. Uh, the reviews for this device say that the battery life is really good on this and some are saying it surpasses an iPad. I'm anxious to try that. Comes with Bluetooth 4.2, a couple of cameras, one in the rear, one in the front. Uh, there are five megapixel for the front, eight megapixel, megapixel for the rear, and it comes with the requisite wireless technology. No surprises there. And uh, the other thing that I really um, liked about this tablet was is it comes with the Google Assistant built in. So when we put it on the on the uh, stand, as you see here, it will use Google Assistant ambient mode. So it basically turns it into a Google Home Hub that you can have. And that would be really great when I'm traveling. So we're going to try it out. So this will not be a review. All we are going to do today is really open up the box, see what's inside. I may go ahead and just turn it on so we can see what it looks like. And then I'll spend a, a, maybe a week or so with it and then we'll come back and talk about um, whether it was useful for my use case scenario. So let's go back to our table camera here. Sorry for the little bit of glare that we have here. I do have my handy opener. You will notice the, uh, the box here. What I really like down here is it does um, tell us that the OK Google or the Google Assistant is a feature. There is a version of this that uses the Amazon Echo Assistant. If that's something you're interested in, you can get that. I think it was the uh, same price too, about uh, $249 right now. Beautiful box. Uh, it's got uh, this really nice kind of glossy uh, hollow image. Kind of You can kind of see the different colors and you can see some of the features uh, appear here. Talks again about the uh, Full HD dual hi-fi speakers, which is really interesting. It's got uh, two small speakers, which I understand is about two watts each. So it's supposed to have really good sound for a tablet. That could be fun. I'm not sure what eye protection is. I'm glad it has eye protection. I'd hate to put an eye out. Uh, it does have the 360 degree far field voice recognition for the Google Assistant. That is almost a requirement if you're going to use this also as a Google Assistant. Dolby Atmos, that's kind of interesting to see uh, that it has that and sound by JBL. Good good sound quality, should be excellent sound quality. These are great 
uh, sound uh, labels to have on here to, to show what kind of quality of sound you're going to be producing. Has our Android technology and then our Qualcomm Snapdragon, as I said, not the greatest, uh, but we'll see how it goes. This is in iron gray. I chose the gray. So let's go ahead and I've got my handy little opener here and let's go ahead and get this cellophane off of here. And wow, that's a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be. So we have that. Let's go ahead and put this away before I cut myself. And uh, I think as we get inside, we'll get rid of some of this glare. That shouldn't be a problem. And get that. All right. So we've got the wrapping off. Put that back down here for you. Let me go ahead and just shove that into a little compartment I have over here. Next thing, it looks like we've got a couple of round pieces of security or warranty voiding or whatever. So I'm just going to slide through that one there. Go ahead and get this one, slide through that one. Okay, so we'll flip her back over. And I like the box. It's a, It's got a really nice uh, cardboard feel on the front, but then it's got that slick, almost metallic sheen, that hologram kind of thing, which I guess in this case, this is where the light's really helping you to see that hologram backing. All right, we'll open it up here. Taking the top off first time. Oh, that's beautiful. So we'll put the top over here. Uh, and you'll see immediately that we have um, the Lenovo tablet here. We've got the logo here. I'm assuming all of our accessories in here we're going to find. Have some labeling here. It's, it's uh, the features. So the stand. Uh, you can hang the device, which is interesting. I don't know if you can read that. I think that's right there. Uh, you can hold it in your hand like a tablet. And then it also has a tilt. So you could have it here and type on it like that. Probably would be great with an additional keyboard too. Full HD is what we see here. Dual hi-fi speakers, the Google Assistant built in, and 360 degree far field voice. So let's go ahead and see what we have in our box here, our accessory box. Looks like this comes out pretty easily. Should be a charger, shouldn't be any surprises here. So we have cable and we have our power brick. I can get it out here for us. Wow, that's not going to come out easily. That's for sure. There we go. Right here. Now, the one thing I did read online that I'm a little disappointed in, this is not a, a rapid uh, charger. Um, it is a kind of a trickle charge. So I may use a different charger on it, but in a pinch, I will assume that that will work. Looking at the cable. One of the things you will note is that is a USB-C USB uh, cable, which not many tablets, uh, especially Android tablets right now, uh, definitely not like the Amazon Fires come with USB-C. That was kind of a requirement for me as well. USB-C will ensure that I only need uh, a single charger when I'm traveling and uh, I can use the same cable. So again, it is not a USB-C fast charge though, it is a trickle charge. So that is a bit of a dis disappointment, but it, since it is USB-C, I should be able to plug in a fast charger to it and plug in and charge quickly. So there's the charger. It shouldn't be much more in here. Pull this out. Let's go ahead and set this to a side for a minute, the tablet itself. And let's look under the little latch right here. Got this nice little cardboard box. We're going to dive into that and see what we have. Should be the requisite warranty and get getting started information. Here's our uh, warranty printed in China. Drop that over there. And then here's our yoga smart tab book. Um, I'm not sure I'm really going to need that uh, to get started, but I do like that it has uh, some information. Here's preparing your device. Does include uh, a place to install a SIM a nano SIM slot. Uh, that's interesting. I'll have to take a look at that a little bit later. Uh, I believe I can also install a micro USB. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to go back in there and look at that again. So interesting there that uh, we have those devices. So everything is right there that we need. Put that here. And it looks like there's nothing else in here. So let's go ahead and move this over here. Get the box out of the way. And let's go ahead and take a look at the tablet itself. Uh, so I should be able to tilt this down a little bit so we don't get as much of a glare there. Uh, it is a beautiful looking tablet. I like the design. It's really not like you would normally see in a tablet design where it's just flat. You can see it has the speaker there, the USB port. It's got this really nice, if I don't hit my camera, you can hold it with this like a book 
uh, edge. You can kind of hold that. I think that's going to be part of the way that you're going to read uh, and consume some content. So let me go ahead and move the protective or remove the protective coating here. And let's take a look at it inside. And that is actually a beautiful looking device. Um, I do like the design. It again is not reminiscent of just normal a normal tablet, and doesn't just uh, it's not just flat and just a tablet. And with this extra space here, we should that's what's going to give us that extra sound. So that's uh, that's it. It's unboxed. There's not a lot to it. It kind of gets you just what you need, and that's about it. So at 250 bucks, that's probably about right. Uh, let's see if we can figure out some of the features here. It looks like we have our volume here. Looks like we have our power button here. Get a little more light there so you can see that. There we go, our power there. Uh, does include a headphone jack, so that's good for people that like to have a headphone jack. On the other side, we have, I'm assuming this little dot right here is uh, one of the Farfield mics, and then we have our USB-C. So I guess we could take a look at it and see if we can fire it up. Let's uh, go ahead and turn it on and see what that screen looks like. Okay, got a little, uh, that's interesting, it was, it uh, had a little haptic feedback when I turned on the button, the power button, which is nice. And you'll see Lenovo powered by Android. We're booting up. I'll, eventually, I'll take these off. Those are a bit of a distractor. And there we go. Got our video. Let's go ahead and pull that in a little bit so you can see the startup screens. And we are in. And it says, hi there. Um, English. Let's go ahead and start. Press that screen. Work really well there. I'm pleased with that. We'll do some more. We'll accept our license. We can connect to Wi-Fi. And I think that's the point where I will stop the video for now, but everything seems nice. I like the screen. The screen is actually, uh, for an HD screen, it is uh, quite beautiful. It looks good. It has good fidelity. And I'll have to take a little look at it later and see how it goes. Um, so there's just the unboxing. And uh, I'll, uh, again, I'm going to take some time. I'm going to log in with my Google Assistant, or I'm sorry, my Google account. I will probably see if I can restore my apps from my next, or my um, Pixel 4. That way, all the apps that are on here will just transfer to there, and it'll be a more seamless experience. I uh, will use the default launcher. I understand there is some bloatware uh, on the uh, device, so I'll take a look at that. Apparently, you can disable it, uh, but I'll try and get all that set up. And then in a follow-up video, I'll let you know what I thought about the device in usage and show you a couple of screens and how it works. So if you're interested in the Yoga Smart Tab uh, with Google Assistant, at least now you've seen it, uh, me take it out of the box and you can kind of see the uh, quality of the screen and look at the device itself. So I hope that's helpful for somebody. And uh, if it is, leave me some feedback or a comment below and uh, happy to uh, give you an update a little bit later.